Hey there, welcome to video-tutorials.net's SolidWorks 2014 Essentials course. In this course, we're going to cover the fundamentals that will allow you to work productively in SolidWorks. The first thing we're going to talk about is how SolidWorks operates on your computer. Here I've got the SolidWorks website. Let's go to Support and System Requirements. Let's click on the link for SOLIDWORKS System Requirements. Here we can see the list of operating systems that are supported by SOLIDWORKS. Down below there's a list of hardware requirements as well as compatible Microsoft products and some other products at the bottom of the list. Let's take a look at the hardware. Right here we see only the bare minimum requirements 2 gigabytes of RAM is suggested, but that's barely enough to run your operating system in Windows 7 or Windows 8. So I would recommend at least 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. Let's take a look at the disk space requirement. They suggest at least 5 gigabytes of RAM. In fact, it's a good idea to have at least a few hundred gigabytes available. Next are video card drivers. We're going to look at these in just a sec. Here's the processor requirements. They say a good starting point is an i3 or i5 Intel processor. SSE2 support. That refers to streaming single instruction multiple data. And this, day, um, this protocol is supported by all processors. What I would like to mention a few more words about is 64-bit versus 32-bit operating systems. The 32-bit operating system is slowly being phased out. You can't install 32-bit SOLIDWORKS on a 64-bit operating system. SOLIDWORKS 2015 will only run on a 64-bit operating system also. The biggest difference between these versions of SOLIDWORKS 32-bit versus 64-bit is the amount of RAM that SOLIDWORKS has available to use. With a 32-bit operating system, SOLIDWORKS can utilize about 2 gigabytes of RAM. With a 64-bit operating system, you can virtually utilize an unlimited amount of RAM. So big part files and big assemblies need the 64-bit operating system. Even if you're working with smaller files, you will notice the difference. The 64-bit will work much better. Down below, under Microsoft products, we see the supported Microsoft products. We've got Excel and Word, as well as Internet Explorer. Now let's go check out the video card list. I'd mentioned this just a few minutes ago. The first thing we're going to do is select the computer vendor. I'm going to select any system vendor. Next we select the graphics card vendor, in my case, NVIDIA. Under Graphics Card Model, we've got Quadro FX and Quadro K. The FX is the older model, and that's what I'm still using. The K series is newer. I've got the FX 4800, so that's what I'm going to select from this list. Now for SolidWorks version, I'll select 2014. My operating system is Windows 7 64-bit. 